before we go forward with the next piece, uh, who is Julie and her friends, I would like to take just a second while they're getting set up to introduce to you too many things. Uh, our board members, our board members, my gosh, 12 years they have given me ideas and come up with great things and supported us and I think all of them but one is here today and I sometimes even forget to recognize them so I want to do that and uh, as a matter of fact we have uh, Larry McMullen here who is my dear longtime friend almost 50 years do you realize that Larry um, you told me many years ago, Larry is a fine attorney in Kansas City and, and uh, it, it just an upstanding person in everything that he does, big with the University of Missouri and, and uh, with his fraternity and with his church and now with us and we couldn't do this without you. But you told me a story about your brother played piano and you took piano lessons. Was it Miss, Mrs. Blim, I think, you took piano lessons with? Well, anyway... You said your brother came home with a trophy and you didn't get a trophy. So I know you get lots of awards and pins and stuff from legal things and from community things, but I have a music pin for you, Larry, so that we can claim you as our own. Hang on. So would you stand up, please, and let me present you with this? It's actually not this big. <laughs> Thank you very much. For your coat. Oh, thank you so much. It's a liar. Uh huh. And so you can represent music as well as law. And I can play like I can play. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you for your service. You. I really appreciate it. I will give it to you later, but the other board members up here, I also have a pen for you, okay? Uh, I won't take time now to pass them out, but I want to recognize them, and that is Melody Stroth on piano, who joined us about a year or two after the inception of the foundation, came on with all kinds of wonderful uh, ideas because she's so connected in the community uh, through the piano work that she does. Uh, Julie Silverberg, my longtime friend, uh, who's sketched out ideas on napkins with me at hula hands and who knows what. We, we dream up all kinds of crazy things, but she's been one who's been initially important in developing the scholarship program. Dee Sliger on bass back here, a longtime friend, and, and also so helpful in, in all that she does as secretary and treasurer of our board. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, John Brungard is with us today. He's back and forth from Arizona now, traveling back and forth, so he wasn't able to be here, but he's another attorney who is interested in Celtic music. He plays accordion and, and likes that type of music, but has always been helpful in, in the um, foundation. Uh, there's one other person back here. I'm going to give you one of these. Uh, our, our, you know, I just have to say, I'm an accordionist, and so trying to play this wind instrument is hilarious because uh, oftentimes I push on the keys and nothing happens, and I'm like, oh, I got a blow in it. <laughs> same, same thing with the microphone. Um, Jordan Witt is our financial advisor. My financial advisor has given us all kinds of help and ideas, and he's the person who initiated. He's here today. Jordan, come up here. I want him to see who you are. Everybody wants to know who you are. Jordan was the... Uh, Quarterback of the Fort Scott High School football team. <laughs> Jordan, I, I really appreciate it. You uh, are the person who put the germ of an idea to do this foundation and said there was such a need in Fort Scott. Jordan was president of the school district at the time and said there was just nothing for high school students or to motivate them when they were artists and musicians. And I've lived that walk and understand that that needs to be recognized. So. It was his idea, and, and he's given us so much help in figuring out how to do this and how to build an endowment, and we just really appreciate your help. And just because I know you have football pins, I want you to have a music pin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your
I'm not sure if Carol Hill is here today. I, I've invited her, but she may. She's a Wildcats fan. Uh, is Carol? Do you have you seen Carol? Carol is our tax advisor, and same deal. Uh, hugely helpful in, in setting up the foundation. I appreciate uh, all that you all have done.